Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Great to have you here on day one as the fans look on and prepare Sri Lanka and Jamaica. And all the colour that comes with the Netball World Cup. And preliminary stage one it is. As we mentioned, fourth in the world, Jamaica taking on Sri Lanka, number 15. So Jamaica and Sri Lanka. And as we've seen across the day today, coaches really trying to utilize as much of their bench as they can. In our stage one preliminaries, Ramelda Aiken George in a goal shooter will be the target. And there you go, the high ball goes in. And Dean Thomas eyes only for Ramelda yes. Aiken George. I mean, Ramelda is a big target. So you really want to, from, from the first pass, look for the goal shooter. So Sri Lanka again haven't been able to find this connection in attack. Contact centre penalty. Just need to get some strength in their Get's hands. And we'll want you there in the centre on the ball. That's a better pass from Semini Alwis into Algarma. And Sri Lanka put in their first goal of the Nepal World Cup 2023. Their coach Talaka Jinatasa. Happy with that one. There's the look at Crystal Plummer flying through court. We, we can expect more of that. She's a quick player, quick hands. Just reminds me of Nicole Dixon, Rochester. Both players, quick hands and quite unpredictable. I mean, the last time Jamaica medal at the World Championship is 2007, where they got a bronze medal. And so the, these ladies, after 2019 and after that in mind, would be looking forward to making sure that they put away each game, one game at a time. And I know that's their, their, that's their focus. Let's see how quickly Jamaica can score with eight seconds on the clock. Thomas realizes Aiken George, the offload oh, and the finish. And that's Find their way eventually in that connection. From Shanice Beckford, just knows where to place ball to those tall shooters. So you'll watch throughout this game, just Sri Lanka's starting to, I guess, grow their skill and understanding. They don't get the opportunity to play against these top nations regularly at all. So right. and it's so what they learn in the moment, isn't it? So you can see there three options coming from Jamaica, two off the back and one forward. They use the forward option in Beckford. Back can George. Of course, Nicole Dixon Rochester then, just having to choose the sort of pass that she was going to use to get in <laughs> and a bit of fun and games for the Sunshine Girls. So some of the changes we saw, Shamira Sterling coming on at goalkeeper. And then Thomas moves in to wing attack. We knew that Fowler came on the court there with ball in hand, the finish. And Nicole Dixon Rochester into the centre. Well, lovely change of direction and the patience there just to wait for Fowler to open up. So she stepped onto the court and straight away 12 goals. So just the 15 seconds to play out here. Sri Lanka aware of the clock. They go long, but unfortunately for them, Latanya Wilson right in amongst it. Six seconds. Quick offload from Fowler into Beckford and the finish too good for Jamaica. Well, there's more direct access by Khadija Williams into Fowler. Scoreline this quarter, four all until that goal. So five, four. Goal shooter. So away go Jamaica. Loose ball, picked up though. And there you go, nice finish by Robinson. What is in a warning? So Crystal Plummer just been given a caution and being told that any further foul play. She could be in all sorts of trouble, but it doesn't worry her because the youngster is straight into the action. Terrific deflection over the top and in three balls, the Jamaicans down court and finish through Robinson. Shiva, well, she's ignored. And Sterling's picked up her third intercept in about one minute. Fowler, the big stretch. And slots in goal number 99, and it'll be Jamaican centre pass. And for the 14th time in a Netball World Cup, this will be goal number 100 for Jamaica since 1963, the 14th 100 goal score to Jamaica. And 14 seconds to go, will they get the last goal of the game? Sri Lanka, well, no, says Jamaica. Khadija Williams offloads to the captain. And it'll be Janille Fowler that delivers the last goal for Jamaica on day one of play.
And number four in the world, Jamaica, in impressive fashion, are able to finish the game with an enormous goal range of 105. Remember, Sri Lanka's 25. It is the dominance of Jamaica today against Sri Lanka with a 105 to 25 goal victory.